This little device that you have, I know it's got a little hook on the end. Oh yeah, this was given to me uh, by one of my friends. He's got a nice hook. He yeah. Picks it up real nice. I'll be darned. Well, Tony, let me ask you a question. So, you've browned the chicken on both sides about 10 minutes or so on medium flame. Medium. Now, what is the next step? Well, the next step is we're going to lower the, the gas a little bit because we're going to put the wine uh, in there. So, we don't want to have it where we burn the house. So, we're going to lower it a little bit, let the wine just soak up in the chicken. So, Tony, let me ask you this. What is the purpose of the wine? Well, the wine, you know, gives the chicken a little flavor. You see, the chicken cacciatore goes back to the, about the 1400s. They came home with the wild game. They wanted to give it a nice taste to give it that gamey taste. While you're uh, going to your next steps, which I believe is sauteing the vegetables, let's uh, let's have Maximo Marcuso, the tender of the Americas, All right. sing us a tune. Ladies and gentlemen, Maximo Marcuso. Aurora di bianco vestita, ya lucio di schiori al gran sol, di già con le rosse sfredita, carezza de fiori la sua. Maximo, terrific. Ah, oh. unbelievable. All right, looks like our peppers and onions are pretty well sautéed. So let's put the chicken back in here. So the next step would actually be, once you have the chicken all in, you're going to go ahead and add the pomidoro, the tomatoes. Now, how long are you going to leave the chicken in there sautéing with the, with well, the vegetables? Well, after, after I put the tomato in here, then it's going to cook in slow heat for about 35 to 40 minutes. For those of you at home, this is going to be a, a great recipe for you to follow. Tony's making a large batch because we have quite a few people with us here today. However, uh, you can make this in a small batch as well. Now, these are pomodoro pelati. They're peeled tomatoes, so I'm going to squash them with my hands. Just real easy. So you have a little bit of chunkiness in the tomatoes as yeah, well. Yeah, because in the old days, they used to use fresh tomatoes, you know. Yeah. They didn't have the luxury that we have today. These are two cans of 28 ounce each. Let's add the tomatoes. See how nice and chunky they are. So Tony, do you, do you lift the flame up a little bit once the tomatoes are in there? No, actually Tony, I'm gonna lower them a little bit. Ah, once, interesting. once I get it started. So it's gonna be more of a slow cooking process. Yeah. The final thing you're gonna do Garlic now powder. is add spices, correct? Yeah. My parents taught me and my grandmother to put pinch. So your measuring device are your fingers. Here's Mrs. Dash. Pinch. Well, we got the tomatoes in there. You know, tomatoes have a lot of acidity, so you need something sweet. You can put uh, anything. You can put sugar. You can put uh, some kind of liquor. Since we have the wine available, let's put a little bit of wine. This will take the acidity out of the tomatoes. Oregano. Oregano gives us that sweetness. 
parsley, so let's put that in there. Let's put all of it. Yeah, parsley okay. is always does We the love trick. parsley. And uh, it's going to saute for about 45 minutes on low heat. And then I guarantee you, the meat's going to just fall off the bone. It's been cooking about 40 minutes. And uh, while the chicken is still simmering, we're going to put the linguine. The water is boiling, so I need some salt. You got to put quite a bit of salt in the pasta there. And what's the purpose there. of the salt? It just makes the water boil faster and also it makes the pasta cook really, really good. So now how long do you cook the pasta for, Tony? We like it a little bit on that. So about eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes. I see, so by that time, while the pasta is cooking, do you do anything, uh, anything more with the chicken? No, because probably another five minutes or so, it'll be all done. Oh yeah, let's, it's we ready. Go. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is going to be ah, good. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, the treasure. Ah, look, look at this work that. of art. Uh, Mamma mia. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to take this out a little bit at a time. So you wow. see how the, the, oh. Um, the, oh my goodness. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have our I, chance. I'm hungry now. I know you are. Well, you sang that beautiful song oh, earlier. Thank you. Yeah, that's what makes me sing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have this one, okay? Yeah. Well, we rehearse now, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, Se mangia bene, se beve vino, la 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 la, se mangia bene. Yes. Yes. Now, okay, we sang for the supper. Maximo, I got to tell you a funny story. So, on episode one, we had Tony DiGiorlano, a very funny man. I think you know Tony. And uh, we found out that Tony is very frugal, very, very smart shopper. So I have to ask the question. He bought a new pot, okay? Right. Now, I'm willing to bet that he still has the receipt from this pot that he bought because he, if he finds one better price, he'll bring it back, okay? <laughs> and exchange it, right, Tony? Uh, what did you uh, say about receipts? I, said, I, bet, I told him I bet you had the receipt. That, no. <laughs> I got a receipt. I told, I told you. <laughs> Tony Di Gennardo, right here. See? See, Tony? Anyway, okay. so, hey, Walmart, I guarantee you this pot's coming back on Monday.